All righty then, let's get this going. Our very first, what we believe is going to be an annual butt-kicking women's conference. What is a butt-kicking woman? She is a strong, confident, yet respectful woman who knows who she is, she knows what God's word says, and she knows what her role is in the kingdom of God here on the earth. Here's the question of the evening. Why would a man like myself be concerned about helping women become strong, confident women? Because I'm concerned about marriages. I'm concerned about families. I'm concerned about our churches. Ultimately, I'm concerned about men. <laughs> You're here tonight because I'm concerned about men. I write about this in my book, Laugh Your Way to a Better Marriage, but back in the late 1800s, there was the promise of great wealth, freedom, and prosperity out west. And men went out west by the tens and hundreds of thousands, seeking their future, their fortunes, their success. There weren't very many women around. And these towns, they set up their own little cities, almost of all men. And it became known as the Wild West. These men were pigs. They were undisciplined. They were disgusting. They were violent. It's why they called it the Wild West. Late 1800s. By the early part of the next century, everything had changed. These men suddenly were responsible men. Great fathers, contributors to their communities. And do you know what historians credit as the reason for the dramatic change? The girls showed up. <laughs> it's an absolute documented fact. Read it. In fact, sometimes you can see old westerns and stuff like that. Well, you'll see this actually acted out. The guys are all pigs and stuff. Also, the ladies straight and come in, and all the boys are straightening up. And they're trying to clean stuff. And they... Because when those women showed up, they were what I call butt-kicking women. They were strong, confident women. They knew who they were. They knew what they would uh, uh, accept as behavior. And they basically said to them, you want this? You will behave yourself. <laughs> and they transformed an entire culture. Sadly, I believe if those women of the early 20th century would have been like women today who freely coddle their little boys, expect nothing from their young sons, who have girlfriends who freely give them sex and anything else that they want, and women who line up to move in and take care of the boy no matter what he says or does or commits to. I am convinced it would have stayed wild. Share this weekend has the potential to dramatically change the world in which we live. I believe that if the church will call men to a higher level and that if the women in our churches would join in by refusing to empower these men to behave badly, and we'll explain that as we go through tonight and tomorrow and tomorrow night, I believe we could change the world. It's my goal over the next few hours as we spend together to clarify exactly what I'm talking about. Because if we can get this right here, set the stage, I'm telling you, it's going to be powerful. Now helping me in this quest at our conference is Debbie Chavez. Who, uh, how many of y'all listen to our radio show? Uh, yeah? Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Debbie is the co-host of my uh, radio show. She and Mrs. Wheeler are here. And uh, we'll introduce them tomorrow. They're going to show you how you can be a confident woman despite making big mistakes in your life. Connie Corona, wonderful friend of ours, pastor's wife from Raleigh, North Carolina, is going to show you how to be a spiritually confident woman. Wendy Meredith, you're going to love her. She's something else. 
She's going to show you how you can be a strong, confident woman even if you are single. And Nancy Stafford is going to show you how you can keep from letting a poor self-image hold you back from being a strong, confident woman.